Hi, this is Claudia with Olivos Art Studio, and I'm here to share with you about my new painting of the goddess Oshun, and to share with you a ritual you can do to honor her at any time, to welcome her into your life. So Oshun is a Yoruba Orisha of the sweet and fresh waters. And I'm going to show you some of her favorite items that you can use at your altar. Cinnamon, sunflower sticks, sweet potatoes, yams, and pumpkins. I have an altar candle for her. More cinnamon sticks. Remember when you place these items on your altar, it is so important that you do it as something that is fun for you. It is about aesthetics. It's about your intention. Make it beautiful for her. Use the best honey you can find because that is so valuable to her. I found some that still had the honeycomb in it. It's beautiful. She loves lemons, oranges, mandarins, and tangerines, and rose wine pink champagne and sunflowers. She loves yellow roses too. Seashells are very important to her. She uses those for divination. As you place your items on your altar, think about the personal meaning for you. You can uh, add other items as I've added my little goddess sculptures and I have uh, special intention for those and the orange flowers you saw there I use for my ancestor altar and they have a special meaning um, and I was telling you that the shells especially cowrie shells are very special for Oshun as she learned divination through the cowrie shells and also she was taught and brought that to humans. So through Oshun and through the cowrie shells, we get more powers for divination. And speaking of that, the cinnamon, of course, um, you know, has all the powers of magic and spice. She's a sensual goddess, so we spice up our life. And there's my love, my Snoopy, enjoying some of the sunflowers, seeds. Uh, when you do honey, for when you give honey to Oshun, always take a taste first because she was once poisoned with honey, so she likes for you to first give the honey a taste and always give her the best. If you could find edible glitter, too, she loves that. So like edible gold glitter, um, maybe a gold cloth. Those are the two things that I wish I had had. But I think she's pretty happy with the altar. And here's my painting. I'm going to give you just a little bit of a closer look. So you can see the waterfall in the back going into the river and the river going up becoming her hair you see a full moon and then another full moon the peacock as well as the vulture they're both very important to her the color yellow and the butterflies. She loves amber and bronze as well. And she's a beautiful goddess that brings sweetness and joy into your life. So embrace her energy. I'm going to be creating a New Year's ritual with Oshun as well.